Hey Gearfax fans, it's not often that I'll do an unboxing demo of an item of equipment, but I used to have a smaller version of the Sony CMT X3D, I think it was called the X2, something like that, and it made a really good portable speaker for a lot of my demos. So what I could do, I found, was run a multi-effects unit or a synthesizer into it, and just made a really good portable monitor that allowed me to share all the great sounds of those machines with you. So let's open this box up and see what we got. Rudimentary cutting tool. Okay. So, straight away, we've got the power socket there. Australian, that's handy. Okay, so I was attracted to this one because I did want a louder, sort of bigger version of the last one that I had that I mentioned just earlier. Okay, straight away it's got a fixed power supply, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. I was hoping that this was a battery driven thing as well, but it turns out it's not. A little bit of marketing material there for the store shelf. Peels off without leaving any residue. So what this one has is a CD player across the top. CDs obviously are pretty much finished, the technology is just about dead. But it still has its place, CDs do give us very good sound quality. All the normal controls at the front and their actual push buttons rather than just touch sensitive which is something I prefer. And over here we've got an LED display. What else is in the box? Good quality remote control, the buttons are nice and large, have a good feel to them. And all the functions and features that you need are there, it looks like they haven't missed anything out. Looks like it's going to need a couple of double A's as well which hopefully, oh one double A. Included in the box? No. We've got a sleep function at the top here, which will probably give it a rest for a while and then it'll come back on after, I don't know, an hour or something. I'd have to read the manual about that. Uh, timer menu, not sure what that is. Display. Let's try pressing that one now. Oh, we can't because we've got no batteries in it. Then down here we've got instant access to the CD, USB, FM, audio in, and also Bluetooth. Tuner memories, one through to four. Equalization presets, mega bass. Transport controls for getting between our tracks and the radio tuning at the bottom there. So the remote control gives a lot more functionality to the machine. And incidentally in the packet there we've got an FM radio aerial type thing there. And the manual. I won't read the manual. You never do with machines. You just get in and use them and you read the manual when you get stuck. That's normal procedure. Okay, we'll put on something by air. Electronic bands generally test the boundaries of your sound system so it's probably not a bad place to start. And another good place to start is by pressing the on button. Power's not switched on at the wall. Fair enough. Display says hello, volume's defaulted to 12, reading, but of course there's nothing in there, so let's pop this one in. Slides in beautifully. Now we'll try out some of the onboard controls, because as you saw before, the remote control has no battery in it to start with. <laughs> there and say that it becomes a little bit more trebly as you put your volume up really really high. I guess it's hard for speakers of that size to pump out bass to the same sort of volumes as those treble signals. But everything up to a volume of about 25 sounds nicely balanced and like I said before it's putting out plenty of volume. Let's just see what the function button does. Uh, okay we've got a USB in socket there. Searching for Bluetooth. FM radio. There's the static. There's an audio in socket which is of course the way I was planning to Inject the sound of the synthesizers or guitar pedals or whatever it is I review. And then we're back to CD. It looks like I have to press play again to begin. Yeah, oh, I did remember my position. Okay, so there it is. My first impression is pretty good. It's a really nice size. It's got plenty of sockets for access. The controls are nice and simple, there's no stupid surprises. And the fact that it has a nice CD system there that's elegant and discreet is a bit of a draw card for me because 
If you're like me or like most households in the world, you've probably got some CDs left lying around that are a little bit special and that you might want to play occasionally. And this does give you a really nice solution along with the MP3 playback, the Bluetooth, and good quality sound that goes to a reasonable level. So that's it, GearFacts friends. I hope you don't mind me doing something a little bit different to the normal GearFacts video, but there it is, Sony CMT X3 CD. It's a nice machine. Leave your comments or hit like or subscribe and I'll see you next time on GearFacts.